I mean, one thing that Dennis put in the chat, which I think is so, so interesting, now we're done with area, back to the presentation, region back to presentation, you know, is that consensus-based decision-making allows, you know, the discussion to shape the actions. And, and, so, and so I think, think the example of, of the fundraising mechanism, you know, whether we want to put that on the page, we had lots of discussions, some out, outright opposition, some support, and then someone, and, and then someone who was in opposition expressed the valid concern, well, maybe we need to talk to our groups. And, 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 and you know, because we're all part of this process, you know, a proposal emerged to do just that. And that's exactly how it works. Does anybody have any other quick comments before we turn it back over to Mark? Yeah, Lewis, I'm, I'm Bruce, I'm an addict. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a very, very important part of consensus is exactly what happened today. And that is um, a little discussion, a topic, and then a topic went all the way from let's table it to eventually let's adopt it with the following changes. That type of flexibility in all candor, in my opinion, uh, I haven't seen working with Robert's rules, whereas with consensus building, I do. So I think it's an incredibly important approach and thank you very much for, for hosting uh, this part of it. And, and by the way, Kelly um, was definitely hired to do our to be our um, protagonist, uh, the antagonist. What you got? I, I just want to say uh, that uh, I, that is none of what I said is what I believe. All right. Um, <laughs> but uh, what's important in in the presentation of those you use those views uh, from individuals that occur in service is that it, it puts a lot of burden on the COFAX uh, or the facilitator to, to try to find a compromise, to try and find uh, a consensus of agreement that the person who is strongly objecting to a proposal or to a decision to continue to find what is it that they're looking for? What is it that would, would bring, uh, uh, would move the decision forward? Um, and that can be quite challenging when you have individuals that are very rigid um, and narrow-minded and passionate about certain points of view. And believe it or not, in consensus, it, it, it's easier if you've got good facilitators, it's easier to come to consensus decisions with those type of contentious uh, uh, experiences. And it would be absolute paralyzing in Robert Rules of Order. Mm -hmm. You know, that's an excellent point, and, and Dennis put it in the chat as well. Um, one thing I've discovered as a facilitator, you know, I, I, by the way, I do have from professional training as it, um, from my old job back when I worked, um, when I worked. Um, um, you know, I have learned that all the squeaky wheels that you hear at those service bodies, they all have good ideas, but no one has ever taken the time to listen to them, Right? No one has ever sat down to hear exactly what it is that they're saying and allow them the chance to actually get it. In other words, to, to, to get what they want. And I'm, I actually am I'm known as being good for doing that. And, and, and that's really what, 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 why the facilitator is very important. You gotta have someone who, I mean, I had an opinion on all those things. Does anybody know? You know what I mean? And that's what, and, and that's what I, I have to do as facilitators is I, I have to hear it from you and make sure that people like Kelly, you, you know, who have great ideas, he's just very, got a certain edge to it. And uh, there you go. Okay, there I am. I was just going to make the point too that I, my area does Robert's rules and it's very hard to have just to bring up a topic of discussion without having a motion that has an action that people need to vote on. And so that's one thing I love about consensus space also is that you can have a discussion about something and you come to a better understanding of the body and the groups and um, their kind of philosophies or what you think for future discussions when you can actually have a discussion without worrying about what the vote is. Mm -hmm. And I think that makes it a lot easier moving forward in lots of discussions to be able to hear people just have a discussion and not just vote pro or con. 
I, I mean, the, the one topic um, um, of the, the um, um, thing on the website, you know, had that happened in Robert's Rules, you'd have probably five different motions and amendments and seconds and you know what I'm saying? And, and you don't, and with consensus, you don't need any of that. And it really is a great way to go. Hi, my name's Laura. I'm an addict. And, and as uh, Mark had uh, talked about, I was a co-facilitator for both the uh, WSC in um, 2016 and 2018. So 2016 was really, really painful for the whole body and for the facilitators as well because the process was not understood well and it wasn't trusted. There were, uh, there were things that we hadn't considered and that came back around to bite us. The yellow cards, oh my gosh, it was horrible. And it's because we hadn't thought of, oh yeah, what if people have questions? Like simple things like that. Um, and, uh, and so in some regards, the reason the body was so willing to change was because the pain they had endured in 2018, in 2016, right? So, so it was a pretty radical change, but we had a lot of work to do to smooth out those, uh, those things that hung us up. But what I want to uh, speak to, Thiago, is you, you um, I think a couple of things that I know are important. Uh, understanding the pro complete understanding of the process, a really good facilitator uh, that the body trusts. And then, like Mark talked about, sometimes employing it without the body even knowing. And for things that like, um, well, since there were no changes, and if there's no objections, we'll accept the minutes. That's consensus, right? That and, and little pieces, if you have a facilitator that can start using it in times when there's no discussion necessary, then it, it might uh, help. And like Mark says, see, there it is. We just use consensus here. And there's how we, how we used it. And here's why it worked. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Laura. Okay, we're almost out of time, but we do have time for Kelly. And incidentally, not only was 2016 awful, 2014 was awful too. So it was like, oh boy, did we need change. Uh, we'll go to Kelly and then turn it over to Dennis, who's going to wrap it up. Go ahead, Kelly. Sure. Uh, thanks. Uh, so I'm I have an opportunity here in North Alabama to, uh, we are starting a new area in uh, next weekend is our first area meeting. And it was encouraging to me that when the groups got together and they, they go, went over the decision to break off in North Alabama and start a new area, that from the very beginning they went, we're gonna be consensus, we're using consensus. Uh, from the very start, rather than trying to, to, to change the paradigm that exists in the old area, it was easier to go. And one of the things that I've, I noticed as we have evolved in our discussions, and then as we start forward, and Mark brought this up, and I'll just repeat it again, is that the focus of the next year of our area, our new area, is going to be project-based, not subcommittee-based. And so we will still have subcommittees, but the subcommittees are going to be selecting projects that are a priority for our area to achieve, uh, to complete for that year. And uh, I'm really, really excited to, to see that. Okay, Dennis, take it away. In wrapping up consensus on Mars, uh, CBDM, it's a buffet of options based in principles, such as flexibility. There's no one fixed and inflexible right way to practice CBDM, and its processes are easily adapted to different approaches. Anonymity. Our, all our voices are equal, and all our diverse voices weave together in the tapestry of group conscience. It's not just everyone that's in favor of something gets to speak. It's all of our voices weave together, because sometimes that minority voice will bring up a point that we didn't consider, like Laura mentioned. And sometimes, even if 
that minority voice doesn't change a direction, it's important to hear that voice. And it's also important for those of us that are in favor of moving in a direction to sometimes reconsider why we are in favor of moving in that direction, not just, yes, let's go do it. Well, do, are we really in favor? Yes, okay, here's why, great. Surrender, and where there's the understanding that we all hold a piece of the truth, we're able to surrender that no one, no one of us has all of the truth. And then as has been emphasized by multiple people, trust. Because consensus-based decisions emphasize being heard so deeply, we can participate and heard. And in being heard, we can trust that whatever decision is made is truly in line with the spirit of the second tradition. And really, the uh, CBDM basics tool on NA.org says it best, and I'm paraphrasing here. Um, when I participate in decisions based in consensus, it means I had the opportunity to voice my opinions. I believe and trust that I have been heard, and I can ex accept our decision, even if it's not what I would choose. And in that, I became we. So thank you. And that's it.